that table is winning right now. It's funny, right? That's right. Mathematically, 10 groans equals one laugh, guys. So go ahead and give them the extra nine, all right? If we get it, if it's something you feel like you shouldn't laugh at, fucking loosen up and laugh at it already, all right? Let's laugh at the dark shit. Follow her. Very good. All right, guys. We're going to keep it moving. Are we ready for our next comic? Give it up for the very funny Go Bananas, Haley Jordan! Thank you, person I don't know. I wrote down some notes. I didn't want to forget any jokes. All I see written is the word horn. It's a letter from my mother. I can always be there. I used to be uh, hell embarrassed. My mom, she would uh, call out to me in the grocery store like, Haley, Haley, what kind of tampons do you want? <laughs> mom, shh. Super plus unscented. <laughs> And now she's embarrassed of me. I'll tell you. I have had three relationships and in police intervention. I have had three relationships. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, but I pride myself on the fact that I toughen up the men of my generation. <laughs> and the one previous. <laughs> My last boyfriend, a uh, real dumb fuck, uh, he texted me one time and he was like, uh, I ran out of gas on the highway. I've been walking for like two hours. I was like, why didn't you call anyone? He writes back two words. Uh, no friends. He needed my help. So I wrote back, honey, that's not something that you tell your girlfriend. <laughs> he told me he was an expert in parkour. Uh, it's a special training that soldiers do. Um, it's about looking at your environment and navigating in new and efficient ways. Mm. <laughs> But I see a lot of kids ride around on the shopping carts in Target. And frankly, they fall less. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> One time I was like, honey, I like your pink phone case. And he was like, uh, it's not pink, it's magneto. I gave him one of these. He goes, uh, On eBay, its color was listed as Magneto. I wanted to believe it was magnetic. Apparently, my boyfriend couldn't read the word magenta. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, we have a love-hate relationship. He loves me. <laughs> yeah, but you know, no relationship is ever going to work out for me because I have internalized my mother's voice. <laughs> I'll be on a date, and everything's fine, and then he tells me about his job, and I hear, <laughs> he's not going to make any money. <laughs> Sometimes I, a little on his food, 
And there's no going back from that. You can't be like, oh, it's fine. You see that my mother and I have such a profound degree of codependence that sometimes she can remotely control my saliva glands. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> he doesn't have any prospects. <laughs> People tell me all the time that I have bad taste in men, but <laughs> the way I see it, natural selection has failed me. <laughs> I swear to God, ladies, every guy you talk to has this mini smashed frat boy on their shoulder just whispering <laughs> meathead advice like, bruh. <laughs> Shoulder douche. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> She's begging for it. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Cold bitch, didn't even ask you were. <laughs> uh, Saturday? Sure, why not? <laughs> She wants the D. <laughs> Change her relationship status, memorize her laundry schedule, hit on her friends. <laughs> so you go on a date, and of course it's fucking terrible. So at the end of the night you say, yeah, I had a nice time too, but I don't really think we're looking for the same thing. <laughs> She's lying. Still wants the D. <laughs> Here's what you gotta do. Call her drunk, cry on the phone call. She'll see that you're a unique and sensitive creature and she will, for <laughs> and she will forever regret skipping that second movie date in a row and possible post-credit fumbling second base attempt for the rest of her sad life without you. Bra. <laughs> but I am done with boys. I found Jesus. <laughs> On a street corner in St. Armand's. <laughs> so now I'm learning from the great teacher. A little Christianity crash course for you. <coughs> Chapter one, the one who made all things. We'll take it away if you touch yourself. <laughs> The disciples of Jesus mostly gave up when shit hit the fan. <laughs> Never become a thief. Steal God's heart. <laughs> Chapter 47. This is my son. Watch him bleed out and know that he was my favorite. <laughs> Last chapter, how to tell Armageddon is near. <laughs> this one was hard. I had to refer back to the pictures. <laughs> Apparently, you can tell Armageddon is near when teenagers showing cleavage run down the streets on fire. I'm not looking forward to Armageddon because I'm going to hell. <laughs> I'm out of time, so I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Who thinks she earned another minute and wants to hear the closer? <laughs> I'm getting that shit short. That's awesome. Finish.
Satan. Uh, <laughs> and then all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> Babe? <laughs> There's no brimstone raining from the sky. Did you? You didn't know you were going to get five solid minutes of laughs. One more time. 